Hi, this is Dr. Joni. Thank you for tuning in. Today I want to do something different. I'm videotaping it and then uploading it this time of prayer to the social media. I, uh, before we start, as usual, I want to spend a few minutes praying in tongues and invite the Holy Spirit to come and take over the session. Shikarama sukuro pashete yena raba shukuro pashiti anamaka era ba shukuro pashete yena mashara ba shukuro pashete era ma era ma era ma Holy Spirit come take over this time of prayer let your spirit lead and guide and only what will glorify Jesus will be uh, will come out from this mouth and also uh, from the people who will be joining in the prayer your will be done O God and your name be lifted up Jesus Shika masara bashara pasukuro basheti. Yero God. Yay. You say that if we humble ourselves and come and pray and confess our sins, and uh, you will forgive our sins and you will heal our land. You will hear from heaven. So, based on your promises. We come before you to ask, Lord God, your will be done. That what we pray will be answered because you promised to hear us. Shikarama sarapa shukuro pashiti. Yerama shukuro pashikarama sukuro pasiti. Yes, Lord God, you are mighty God. You alone at the awesome one, the creator of all things. Let your will be done, God. Commit the recent election in America into your hand. We know that there is voter, voter fraud and we pray for the culprits to be caught and prosecuted. There was a mime that shows uh, somebody, I think posted in social media, that these people, these cheaters and culprits who are not honest, who wants to win through fraudulent ways, be caught and put in jail and the keys thrown away. That was funny. But I think it should be stopped so that future elections will be trustworthy and honourable. There were those, the number registered was less than the number that was counted. And there were ghost voters, people who do not exist, and also people who are dead, names of people who are dead, even as far as the person who was uh, born or dead in 1823. So this is uh, really blatant lies. Uh, may they all be prosecuted, these people who, who are involved. Pray for, we give you thanks God for the peace deal that is going on in the Middle East. We thank you that uh, there are this uh, Bahrain, United Emirates, and even uh, Sudan, making friends and business dealings with uh, Israel. And we pray for more people, more countries to come in and be blessed. Because you say that those who bless Israel will be blessed. So let them come in and be blessed. Saudi, Lebanon and others pray that they too will join in the peace gang. We praise you that Guatemala 
has uh, agreed to move their uh, embassy to Jerusalem. Pray that Serbia and Malawi and many others like uh, Brazil, Honduras, uh, Hungary, Mo Moldova, Romania, those who are considering to do the same, pray that they will act and uh, be blessed. And uh, Father God, you bring peace. You have answered our prayer. The last time I prayed for Armenia and Azerbaijan, that they will come to a priest's uh, 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 ceasefire and uh, come to the table to talk. So pray that they will maintain that and uh, achieve the peace between the countries. Yes, the Bible did re uh, prophesy about the end times and the coming signs of Jesus coming, that there will be peace in the Middle East, but we know that this is a long way to go because present-day prophets are showing that rapture is not that soon because there, is still, there are still events that need to come in between uh, rapture and now. There is the there's a harvest, the great harvest, the transference of wealth and the gospel reaching the ends of the world. So there's still a lot of things that need to happen according to Bible prophecies, um, which I did my doctorate paper on, the end time prophecies, that these things will have to happen before the rapture and the second coming of Jesus. Pray that Lord you will send heavenly hosts to places that are faced with violence and writings and killing. Pray that Lord God, all these uh, terrorist attacks recently in the France, two in the church, two were beheaded and in Philadelphia, a Vietnamese church was burned and recently another incident of killing, a terrorist killing of four people and 22 injured. So Father, pray that Lord, this uh, insurgence of uh, terrorism that is coming back will be stopped. Shika Nama Shokra Bashete, Ye Rama Shara Bashito, send your angelic host, the warring angels, to go to these troubled places. Shika Nama Sara Bashikara Basoko, Ye Rama Shara Bashara Basoto. Yes, Lord, and I pray for the pandemic. Those who are sick, God, that you will uh, heal them of the virus and uh, pray for cures to be discovered that Lord it will not be held back by a greedy people and she can and even call cancer that cancer will be a disease of the past it will not be incurable kind of disease it will not be a threatening kind of disease prophet Kim Clement already prophesied um, before he passed away that there will be a cure for uh, cancer, for autism, for uh, Alzheimer's. So let it come forward, Lord God. Download your wisdom into the science that they may discover a cheap cure. People, even the poor, can afford it. So pray especially now for Rush Limbok, who is a, a, a newscaster. He has lung cancer, and I have a friend, Louis Smith Ellington. Lord God, she has a, in the fourth stage of cancer too, and has spread to many places in the body. But nothing is impossible with you, God. Shikama Sakarapapa. 
I rebuke the cancer in Jesus' name. Karama shukuro bashete. Yera mashoro bashara pasa. Yera pashukuro. Yona tata. I pray for Heidi Baker. Uh, she she prayed over me when I started my ministry to the poor, called the Bond Ministry, and uh, and she has been sent to Mozambique, and uh, to pr to and now uh, she is feeding uh, more than twenty thousand people. She picked up orphans from the dump site and started many churches. So now um, there is a threat. There's disturbance in the Africa and uh, Mozambique and the places where she is ministering. Pray for uh, peace and protection. God, I pray for your um, angels to surround their camps and uh, their place of uh, shelter. That nothing will go, uh, will touch them. Pray for a hedge of fire around them, for the children as well as for the workers, and especially for Heidi Baker and Roland Baker and the family members. Shika nama sokoro po shika nama seti. Yeah, oh God. Yay. Shana bashara bashara pa shikuro basa. And pray for Malaysia, Lord God, that there is also trouble in the politic, uh, uh, political arena. That they were, they they are fighting for position in the MP and uh, also the vote of non-confidence and the desire to hold on to power and trying to introduce uh, emergency law. So Father God, I pray for intervention. Your power, you are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You rule, Lord Jesus, over uh, the world and Malaysia too. Shikarama sokorobashete, ye ramashara bashara bashara bashikete. And Lord, I commit my visa to America, religious visa to your hand. The Lord, it will open up the door. You promise in Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 that you will make crooked paths straight. So let it be done, God, and any hindrances be removed in Jesus' mighty name. Shikarama sokoroba. Your name be done, be lifted up, Lord, be glorified, Jesus, and you will use the bond, Lord Jesus, to glorify your name, to save souls, Lord, to disciple uh, believers, Lord. Shikanama Saraba Sharaba Shakata. The Great Commission will be fulfilled through the bond ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Especially to the poor and needy, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Okay, today I want to show you something new that I have learned. Uh, that is to make a sourdough bread. I found out that the sourdough is even more healthier. The bread is more is healthier than uh, the whole wheel whole wholemeal bread. Okay, whole wheat. And so uh, I have made. My pastor uh, of the GYF group that I have been uh, involved with has given me uh, this one that she made, this um, uh, sourdough bread, and I have tried and make this one, uh, which is uh, fluffier, softer, very soft, and uh, um, but then it didn't rise high because. Uh, it was too soft so I have made a new batch today I have not yet baked it is in the rising in fact she gave me the starter if you look carefully uh, it is uh, it has a lot of holes in it okay so it is a very active yeast and uh, I will show it in the I will tape the process and show it in the Joni's kitchen and then I will upload it in the uh, in the YouTube, and then also uh, share it in the Facebook. And so uh, this is what I have done. Okay, it is proving, and it's coming up. 
and uh, I put a towel and powdered it and uh, put it inside a bowl see it's a bowl to get the shape to give it the height so that it can rise round okay and after this I'm going to put a paper tracing paper or parchment paper on top and then turn over okay and then I'm going to sieve some flour put this on top of the bread to get some pattern and then mm -hmm. I will uh, see flour and the flour will drop into the holes and so I will have some nice uh, floral pattern on top of the bread so this is what I plan to do but I will tape it and next time I will be able to uh, post it and also the recipe and the instruction or direction how to make this uh, in YouTube under Joni's kitchen okay so this is the bread i eat with peanut butter and uh, i'm going to enjoy it mm, soft and nutritious i put whole wheat so there is whole wheat in it mixed with the bread flour and ordinary flour so you get your recipe Once I make another batch, I will videotape it and share it with you. Sorry, I'm talking while I'm eating. So, um, see you again. God bless.